Hi children, good morning. I hope you have learned the previous class in which we discussed about equations reducible to linear equations in two variables. Today, I would like to discuss with you about the application of linear equations in two variables. Okay, for that we have a question. See, there is one situation. I will read the question. This is the question. A boat goes 30 kilometer upstream and 44 kilometer downstream in 10 hours. In 13 hours, it can go 40 kilometer upstream and 55 kilometer downstream. Determine the speed of the stream and that of the boat in still water. This is the question. Okay. So, before solving this question, you should be able to know what is this upstream and downstream. In upstream and downstream, what will be speed of the boat? Okay. Let me explain you that. See, this is a stream. Here is a stream. In the stream, one boat, one boat is there. Both stream is flowing downwards. And boat also moving downwards. Both the directions are same. Okay. So, this is called a downstream. In this case, if we take uh, speed of the boat in still water. Speed of the boat in still water. If we take it as x kilometer per hour. And uh, speed of the stream if we take as y kilometer per hour. See, once again, speed of the boat x kilometer per hour. That is in still water. And speed of the stream is y kilometer per hour. Then, speed of the boat in downstream will be x plus y kilometer per hour. This is speed of the boat in downstream. Okay. See, this is upstream. See, this uh, stream is flowing downwards, but the boat is going upwards. It moving upwards. Both the directions are opposite, you not same. So, if we consider the uh, uh, speed of the boat in still water as x kilometer per hour, and speed of the stream as y kilometer per hour, then speed of the boat in the upstream will be x minus y kilometer per hour will be the difference of these two speed so now let us see how to solve this problem once again read the question a boat goes 30 kilometer upstream and 44 kilometer downstream so 30 kilometer is the distance traveled upstream uh, moving upwards and returning 44 kilometer downstream the time taken is 10 hours. So, we are going to connect these three. Means time, distance and speed. Okay, here is the solution. See, we have distance. In the case of upstream, Distance travelled is 30 kilometer and downstream distance travelled 44 kilometer and the time taken is 10 hours. Okay, so we know that time equal to distance by speed. So here we write in first case t1 equal to that is time taken 10 hours now t1 equal to distance traveled that is in the case of upstream upstream that is 30 kilometer divided by speed of the boat in upstream already we have discussed it is upstream so it is x minus y kilometer per hour and t2 equal time take Time taken for downstream alone we will write as 44 kilometer divided by 
speed of the boat in downstream that is x plus y kilometer per hour okay so this is not case two this is case one now case two case two see it is in 13 hours it can go 40 kilometer upstream and 55 kilometer downstream so that we will write now upstream 40 kilometer downstream 55 kilometer time taken 13 hours so, so t1 equal to Forty divided by x minus y, and t two equal to fifty five divided by x plus y. See distance by speed. Here also distance by speed. And in case one, the total time taken for upstream and downstream was given as ten hours. Now we connect that two in this case, first case. Okay. So t one plus t two equal to ten. That is 30 by x minus y plus 44 by x plus y equal to 10. Similarly, we get from the second case. Second case also we can write. But time taken together that is 40 by x minus y plus 55 by x plus y equal to 13 hours okay so these are the two equations we got now these are the equations which can be reduced into linear equations for that we will substitute x1 by x minus y equal to p and 1 by x plus y equal to q okay so we write put 1 by x minus y equal to p and 1 by x plus y equal to q in 1 and 2 equation 1 and 2 we substitute 1 by x minus y equal to p and 1 by x plus y equal to q so equation 1 implies it is 30 by x minus y so it will become 30 p plus 44 by x plus y so it is 44 q equal to 10 and equation 2 become 40 p plus 55 q equal to 13 now we got new equations which are in the form of linear equations now you can solve these two equations by elimination method Okay, so for that we make the coefficients of p same. Here we have coefficients are 30 and 40. LCM of 30 and 40 is 120. So to make this as 120, we multiply equation 1 by 3. And equation 2 by, sorry, equation 1 by 4 and equation 2 by 3. So we get equation, sorry, 1 not 3. Equation 3 into 4 implies 30 into B means 120P plus 44 into 4 is 176Q equal to 10 into 4, 40. And equation 4 into 3 implies 120P plus 55 into 3 is 165Q equal to 39 13 into 3 39 so subtract we get 0 eliminated p 11 q equal to 1 that is that is q equal to 1 by 11 substitute q equal to 1 by 11 in 3 
so equation 3 become 30 P plus 44 into Q that is 44 into 1 by 11 equal to 10 that is 30 P plus 44 and 11 44 into 1 by 11 is 4 4 equal to 10 so 30 P equal to 6 P equal to 6 by 30 that is 1 by 5 now we have P equal to 1 by 5 and Q equal to 1 by 11. Resubstitute in our first substitution. What is our first substitution? We have taken 1 by X minus Y equal to P. And 1 by X plus Y equal to Q. So P is 1 by 5. Then we get 1 by X minus Y equal to 1 by 5. And 1 by x plus y equal to 1 by 11. Take the reciprocal both sides. Then we get x minus y equal to 5. And x plus y equal to 11. Now these are again two equations. Equation 5 and 6. Okay. Because they are in a linear equation form. So, again solve this by elimination method. So, while using elimination method, when we add 5 and 6, 5 plus 6, equation 5 plus 6, when you add, we get to see my negative 5 and positive 5 will be cancelled. x plus x become 2x. 2x equal to 5 plus 11. That is 16. 2x into 16 means what? x equal to 8. Now substitute x equal to 8 in 5 or 6. Okay, we get y equal to 3. That, we, uh, that is, it was x minus y equal to 5. So 8 minus y equal to 5 means y equal to 3. That is the speed, speed of the boat. In still water is eight kilometer per hour. Okay, and speed of the stream, speed of the stream is. 3 kilometer per hour. Okay, this was asked in the question. Once again, okay, so the, our question was like this a boat goes 30 kilometer upstream and 44 kilometer downstream in 10 hours. In 13 hours, it can go 40 kilometer upstream and 55 kilometer downstream. Find the speed of the stream and that of the boat in still water. So we found it as 8 km per hour. That is speed of the boat in still water. 8 km per hour. And speed of the stream is 3 km per hour. Okay. So when you get a question like this. When you get a situation like this. First of all, try to form an equation. Using the given conditions. Okay, if you are able to form equation, then you will be getting the answer. So, hope you understood. If you have any doubts, contact me. I will be solving it for you. And notes I will be given. Thank you.